but I'm sure it'll be entertaining no matter what. Ah, uh, well, you know, if we break something, then that's always entertaining, right? Oh, everybody loves a good train wreck. Oh, you know it. You know it. Problem is, there's too many mods out there that are train wrecks, though, at this point. Ah. Uh. Oh, here we go, breaking the camera again. Ah, off to a good start. Good. That's just a given, isn't it? Eh, pretty much, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm good at breaking the cameras in this game here so far. Or at least on the mods, I should say, maybe. Okay, anyway, hello, I've been Randy here. Hopefully everyone's having a great uh, day here uh, so far. We're going to be doing some more mine here again tonight. At least we're going to be trying anyway. Uh, working on the John Deere 6000 sprayer here again. And if you remember from where we left off, I believe it was Saturday night, I think we worked on this uh, last here. Uh, I thought we were basically done with it then, but then we found a couple more problems. Number one of which... The lights didn't work and then number two we got some weird funky collisions going on with it so uh we fixed the lights last uh, saturday night we're gonna see if we can fix the uh, collisions here tonight at least we're gonna try anyway so uh and i think that's that's about it for this mod here i think i think we're about done with it uh brady hello welcome to the stream uh yes currently joined here by hess 18 here in team speak uh, by the way uh jeffrey evening everyone you interrupted brian's farming video I, I did oh Hey, JDT9750 STS. Welcome to the stream. Yes. Uh, Bueller, Bueller. Bueller. Uh, anyway. Uh, so, yeah, someone, the, uh, the collisions we're talking about here, we got some uh, funky, weird uh, collisions going on, namely these two here. Uh, if you remember from Saturday night, they were sticking way out the back. Uh, we moved them in, but that did not fix a thing. Didn't fix a thing. So. Yeah, we're going to see if we can uh, fix that here tonight. Uh, the uh, suspicion with these collisions is they're actually maybe supposed to be boom collisions. That's what we're wondering. That aren't set up properly. We're not entirely sure on that, but yeah, because it's like a weird spot for collisions. I, I don't know why they would need collisions right here. The only thing that makes sense is they're supposed to be for the booms, but uh, they obviously don't fold out with the booms. Uh... Uh, Jeffrey, you don't believe he's here, Hess? Uh, Brady, I didn't do your homework yet. Well, there you go. Nightbot says you need to go do your homework there, Brady. So anyway, let's uh, see what's here. Uh, we were looking at this uh, oh, a while back, and it looks like maybe something in the XML, at least we're assuming anyway, something in the XML here is controlling these uh, collisions because uh, they don't look... We're moving it in the uh, i3D here, I didn't move it in the game. So the assumption is something in the XML is controlling the position then. Uh, though a quick search hasn't revealed anything yet. So design configurations, we're looking for uh, nodes 07. Back nodes, okay. Work areas. Uh, 090, huh? Okay. Oh, that, yeah, okay, that's this, yep. Oh, cool. It's actually setting somewhat the right spot, it looks like. Start with. And height. Okay, cool. I mean, that part of it works. Turn on vehicle. So I'm not entirely sure, everyone, where we're going to uh, find anything in here for the collisions. Uh... Like I said, a quick search for the node 
turned up absolutely nothing, so that's kind of suspicious. One would think there'd have to be something in here for it. Drivable 830. Motorized. Yeah, I don't think we need to do anything with the motor, I don't think. Uh, just holds diesel. Okay, no def on this unit. That's good. Ah, motor configuration, D240. Uh -huh. We're going to change this, so John Deere 6000. That always uh, bugged me in the game here because it's known as a D240. And what, what the heck is a D240? I don't know, whatever a D240 is. Uh, we got it named a John Deere 6000 now. Actually, D240, was that the name of the motor, I wonder? Yeah, it might be. Uh, differential configurations, exhaust effects, motor fill units. Wearable and washable. AI uh, collision trigger 050. Oh, that's that one. Okay. That is that collision. Huh. So what is controlling these collisions then? This is interesting. Well, maybe we'll try moving these in just a little bit more here. That for stars. I think what maybe what we're gonna have to do, everyone, is throw this back in the game because I am not seeing anything in the XML that here is controlling. Uh, there's no th i3D mapping, so um, yeah, and there's absolutely no index pass for zero seven, so nothing in here for this. So yeah, see what I mean? Everyone cannot find zero seven. Hmm. Also can't find any of the other ones either. So uh, match. Uh, yeah, just yeah, that's fine. Okay. The assumption here, everyone, is what we can probably do is put these under the folding part of the uh, sprayer here, the sprayer booms. So then the, uh, yeah, that would actually put a collision on the sprayer booms here because currently the sprayer booms have no collision on them. And... Yeah, it's not checked. See, I think if we check this as a rigid body, everyone, it's going to throw an error message, I think. I don't think you can do that because it's a folding part, if I remember correctly. Could be wrong on that, though. So don't quote me on it. Uh, Brady, you'll be fine without it. Uh, thanks for looking out for me, Nightbot. <laughs> right. Hey, Thomas, how we doing? Uh, got my power up. Got your power up. Oh, okay. Was yeah, it before? Transformer blue. Oh. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna throw this in the game here. We're gonna go check those collisions out because uh, from the looks of it, something was definitely moving them, but not sure what. Oh, and I got the game open already, don't I? Okay. Uh, right. Horseplay has one little bit to finish here yet, doesn't it? Ah, folks get to see a sneak peek of what's going on for next episode here on uh, Chippewa County. Yeah, I've got Horseplay working on planning here. Looks like we're actually almost finished. Yeah, I'll just let him finish. Oh, you're trying to say trying to do another giveaway? No. You haven't done that for a while, have you? No. Oh, well, we'll let, uh, we'll let that planner finish here a minute, then I'll uh, save and reload the game here, and uh, we'll get that mod in. Seeing how he's almost finished, though. I mean, we are playing Farming Simulator, according to Twitch here tonight, so we, we might as well make sure we actually are somewhat. Oh, let's see what's here. 55 and 55. Wow, both uh, need about the same amount of repair. That's interesting. Uh, no one check the indexes in the animation section of the XML, see once what they affect. Oh, uh, okay. Just, I mean, doing a search for the node there, Nolan, turned up absolutely nothing. So, I mean, 
That node doesn't, none of those nodes appear to be referenced at all, but. Actually, where was the, I, you know what, I must have missed the animation section, because I, yeah, I didn't see that one, did I? Oh. That's repair that. Eh, it doesn't need no paint. We're cheap here. Oh, I must not have the planter pulled in far enough, okay. No. Oh. Hello, 8020. Yeah, we're just waiting for this one planner here to finish. Everyone likes that. I'll, uh, I'll reload the game here. I just want to check in the game here, see what's, what's actually happening with those uh, collisions. Or actually, as Nolan said, maybe we'll go back and check. Check the animation section there. Uh, why is this planner not showing up? Okay, let's try again. Oh, better be close enough. Oh, there it is. Okay, looks good to me. A little dirty. animation and cylinder moving tools control start and end positions and ignore the uh, Giants editor position okay good to know hmm. so that reminds me for the John Deere 8020 if I remember correctly in Giants editor the three point is more or less lined up so maybe what I should do is look at the uh, positions in Giants editor and uh, see if they make sense of what's in the XML. Talking about the 8020 for the uh, the tractor 8020, by the way. Eh, I better not go through the ditch. Oh, that uh, 630 has to be about done. Yeah, looks like he is. Uh, Nolan, on the eighty twenty, you have a messed up cylindered moving tool selection. Ah, I would have never guessed, Nolan. I <laughs> uh, never would have guessed that uh, looking at the uh, looking at the three-point on that tractor. It's it's messed up. And I'm pretty sure looking at it, too, it, uh, it was probably taken off some other mod because uh, there are hidden bits and pieces to the uh, three-point that are not visible. I, I don't know why, if maybe just the, uh, they really don't work, so the mod author just hit them so you really can't see them, or I, I don't know, don't know, but, uh. And yes, Jeffrey, if you're watching, I'm washing my equipment. Including the Oliver. The Oliver's going to get a bath here in a moment, too. Uh, no, uh, moving tools are not intuitive, so they can be a lot of fun to figure out. No, thanks for the warning. No, <laughs> sounds like fun. Uh, yeah, uh, like I said before, I, I did take a look at the 80-20 and the, uh, the three-point. I, I took a look at it and then promptly closed it and said, uh, nah, I'll come back to it. Jeffrey told me you couldn't wash equipment again. No, he did? Huh. Well, look at that. I mean, the, that Oliver's nice and clean and green and white. So, so is the planner, for that matter. Bit of a tight fit that. going in the shed here, but. Sorry about that, Randy. I didn't mean to sneeze on your live stream. I must be allergic to Macy Ferguson. Oh. Uh, Why, well, you got a Massey Ferguson? No. Uh, Alex the Fox, uh, thank you for the follow. Thank you very much for that, and welcome to the stream. Okay. 
that 630 done yet? Must be. I don't know what he's doing, but... <laughs> yeah, he's done. And so is the 4440 and the 4020, but they will we'll leave them be. Uh, while he's driving back here, let's just uh, check that animation section again here, maybe. I already got it loaded in the game, so... Oh, uh, let's see once here. Where is... Folder. So. Yeah, where's the animation section here? Uh, design configurations. Effects. That's uh, just from the spray. Work areas. Turn on. Fo ah, foldable. Folding animations, animation name, folding. Animation name, folding. Uh, 8, 12, 8, 12. Yeah, but that's just for the booms. Oh, here, okay, we got cylindered parts here, too. Okay. Moving tools. That's 8, 12. Control axis, axis sprayer arm. Well, looks like that's what we're looking at here. I'm not seeing anything here that would control that that collision in any sort of way. Uh, Nolan, the moving tools moves the boom up and down. Oh, that's right. Yes, that's right. This uh, this does have that, doesn't it? I forgot about that. That's right. You can move this up and down with the mouse, can't you? Is active dirty. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> uh, so folding. Start time, end time. Start time, end time. Start, rotate, end rotate. Okay, okay. Oh, anyway, let's uh, let's set everyone. I, I want to look at this in the game here again, just to see once if that uh, collision's actually moving, because I'm not seeing anything in the XML that's controlling that collision. Oh, come on now. Why is my mouse going funny on me? Not sure. Anyway. Okay, we're just going to switch mod folders here real quick a minute. Uh, Nolan, the folding is what you want to investigate. Go to those indexes and set their uh, rotations to the start values. Uh, folding is what you want to investigate. Go to those indexes and set their rotation to their start values in the XML. Well, the sprayer's folding animation is fine, I think, isn't it? It's just the uh, collisions that are tucked inside the mod there that are weird. Uh, and all this will tell you for sure the uh, collusion positions when folding at initial state.
One John Deere 6,000 spare coming right up. Okay, good. A couple lovely buildings here to back into. This should be great. Oh, yeah, someone messed up the camera again. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, okay. Where is that collision coming from? Yeah, and I don't know how well you folks can see it, but I can definitely see it here. Something is definitely causing that collision to be stretched. Uh, because in the uh, I3D here, it, it probably only comes up to here. So, But here, it, it stretches all the way to the back of here, all the way to the front of the mod. Or all the way to the front, all, almost to the front of the hood there. And something is definitely causing its position to go back. Folding out the booms causes nothing to change with that, though. Which, I, I'm fine with that not changing. I'm, I'm just wondering here what is cost. Something's definitely uh, moving those collisions, but there's nothing in the XML that I'm seeing. Uh, no, no, check the uh, scale on those collusions. Rigid bodies have to have a scale. Oh, I think they were, I think. But, uh, okay, let's check that. Thought I had looked at that, but maybe not. And if not, they're known we can just safely freeze the transforms or not so much. Let's see what's your collisions. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. Yes, okay. The Z value is scaled. Okay. I'm assuming the Z value is this way. I'm still wondering if these are like supposed to be part of the booms though. Okay, so I think that probably answers our question. Now, like I said, everyone, as you can see in here, it only goes about halfway, well, maybe a little more than halfway on, on the vehicle here for that collision. So yes, must be that uh, Z value is causing it to be stretched, which would make sense. It's almost twice the size of what it's supposed to be. Uh, no, do not change the scale. Yeah, right, freeze it. Yep, freeze the scale. I wonder why he's got it scaled two there. That seems kind of weird. Okay. And it freeze transforms. One to one and one to one. Okay. Out of curiosity, what are they? That's that's one to one. Okay, and so is that one. Okay. Okay. Well, that should fix the uh, collision on that then. Uh, check the pair. Ooh. Uh, it, yeah. Okay, it's good as well. It's also one one one. Okay, good. So that should be good then as well. Okay, that should fix that problem then. Kind of sort of a problem, anyway. not not like major problem, but definitely a bit of a problem if you ask me. Wow, 43 megabytes, well, 87. 87 megabytes worth of textures in there yet. My goodness. Hmm, I'm betting some of this we probably don't need anymore. I should probably go through some of this because I, I see tires here. We're not using the tires here that are part of the mod anymore. So we could probably definitely uh, clean that up a little bit. Oh, 
Alex the Fox, what's up? Oh, what's up? What's up? That's a good question. We are currently working on the John Deere 6000 sprayer here, fixing the uh, collisions. And uh, I'm looking at the textures now, too. Uh, Nolan, cross your fingers. Got it. Uh, and I thought they said modding was hard. Cross my fingers. That's it. That's easy. <laughs> hey, James, welcome to the stream. Uh... Oh my, oh my. Oh, what a lot of files. What a lot of files. Oh, come on. It's still, why is it using tires yet? Hmm. Okay, I guess I can't delete those tire ones, everyone. So much for that plan. I deleted the tires out of it, though. Why, where, where, where why, why is it using tires yet? What and why is it wearing you? Why and where is it using tires? Uh, yep, okay. Base S, boom, mount. Clear glass diffuse three. Ah, uh, looks like that's a, I think that's a giant's file there. We could probably get rid of that one if we wanted to. Uh, Nolan, search for 47. Ah, good call. Search for 47. Material. Material ID 8. Don't forget, can you search for the entire line here? Uh, let's see what's here. Cylinder.001 is using it. Cylindered. Uh, cylinder 13 is not. Okay, Cylinder.011 is using it. Huh. I wonder what cylinder dot zero zero or zero one eleven is. There's forty four, there's five tires, booms. Oh, uh, no, lots of booms. Okay. Cylinder 1, Cylinder 10. Oh, come on now. Where's, uh... uh... Whoa, my goodness. Wow. Never looked at this part of the mod here, I don't think. <laughs> oh, wow. That's, that's, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, knowing that 47 was in the red value for RGB... Uh, needs to be in the file section under materials like gloss map. Uh, no, I'm yelling at the screen again. Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> uh, uh-oh. I'm just curious where this is even being used. What is this under? This is under, uh, cube.060. Okay, where would I find cube.060? Somewhere around this neighborhood. Oh, here we go. Aha. Oh. Okay. That is what's using the tire one, huh? Okay. Uh, uh, that's, that's what it's using, I guess. No, it says it's using ladder. Odd. Confused. Very confused. Uh, no one, your search should be, or would be in materials section only. Well, that's, that's what I did, isn't it? Uh, I did a search for the file, which led me to the materials selection, which was material ID 8 was using it. And then material ID 8, unless I missed something here, was being used in that one there. Uh, where did it go again? There it is. Material. Oh, that was material ID. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Gotcha. I see the problem. Yes. Thank you, Nolan. Yep. Okay. Yes. I was looking at the, uh, is that what I did wrong? Yep. Try that again. 47.
Oh, here we go. There we go. Oh, material ID 16, actually. Okay. Let's figure out where that's being used at. Ape ID. Material ID. There we go. Seventy-five and forty. And they are cylindered. Doesn't actually seem to have anything attached. Oh, there it is. Okay. A little pin or something in there. Okay. Tire new. Why is the tire new attached to that? Oh, my. And so, no, cylinder 40. Is that? Yep. Yeah, okay. That's the one on the other side here. Okay. Interesting. Nope. Don't, don't be moving anything. Uh, no, no, careful. You searched uh, 47, and what you found was part of the number in the red channel. Reassigned to something green. Assigned to something green? Curious why that's using tire. Must be the uh, textures for that or something are part of that. It's interesting. Uh, Nolan, the I3D XML just changed material ID to a green parts material. Well, actually, this isn't green here. Looks like this is actually silver. Or supposed to be kind of a gray color, I guess. Oh. Assuming the color for it is probably down here. Guessing that's the uh, color it's using, I'm thinking. Nope, maybe not. Oh, where's it's getting its... Oh, it's up here then, maybe. Okay. Yeah, it's getting its color from there. Okay. Nope, not there either. Okay, I'm lost. Where's that color coming from? Uh, you'd probably have to check it. It's got to be coming from one of these uh, color materials here, then. It's not coming from that one. Uh, no, or, oh, yes, that's true. Yes, no, and it's, yeah, okay, it's probably set as chrome. That would make sense. Although, if it's set to chrome. Oh, yeah, I guess color mask. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yep. Doesn't look very chromey in the editor here. That's, but yeah, okay. Uh, Alex, you have all your John Deere's on Xbox farming server. Uh, okay, cool. Let's not, uh, let's not save this here. I didn't mess around with that a little bit, so. Okay, everyone, uh, so much for cleaning up the textures on that. I think we'll just leave that uh, be. And, and when I say textures, I've won the textures are mostly just, I think, all dirt and wear related. There's nothing actual... Text well, yeah, there actually might be a couple textures in here. Nah, not really, is there? The default normal in there. Hmm. Yeah, there's gotta be some textures in there somewhere, because this uh that stripe has to be coming from somewhere undoubtedly. Hey Rode Dan, hello, welcome to the stream. Uh let me fix this camera here a minute before I forget. There we go. Camera fixed. 
go see if we fix that collision. Uh, no, if it's only using uh, for spec, then uh, use Giant's uh, default. Uh, Giant, well, yeah, it looks like it's just using uh, all of these here. It's just using them for dirt and wear. Which actually... Huh, looking at this here, everyone. It looks like they all have... Because I can see the little splotches of yellow and blue in it. It looks like they're all the same. Huh. Yeah, a little bit of work here, but when we could replace all these and really reduce the size of this mod, couldn't we? He does actually have a general... Looks like a generic one in there. I don't see any yellow in that one, though. Yeah, I like that everyone. If, if you look, I don't maybe it doesn't show up on stream really well here. Uh, yeah, no, right. Our switch to your universal one. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking here. Because actually, if you look at it... All the little blue dots and all the yellow dots are all in the same spot in all of these. So it looks like he just overlaid. And, and Nolan, you'll have to help me here. I, I forget what channels control watch again, but he overlaid those channels. Looks like on all of these images, so they're all the same. He's, obviously, they're all different. Different here, but uh, he's got the same dirt and wear across all of them. And I'm not sure which one's which here, but if we just open up one of these... See, I mean, if you look at where the blue is, and if you look where the yellow is, if I open up a different one. The blue is in the same spot in this picture as it is in the other one. So there's the blue there. There's the yellow up there. That's interesting. Uh, no, no, red is scratches. Green is AO. Blue is dirt. Okay. I should, like, write that down somewhere because I can never remember that. <laughs> Red is scratches, green is AO, and blue is dirt. Blue is dirt. And then write down where you wrote it down. Yes, thank you there, yes. <laughs> I'm going to have to write where I wrote it down. And then uh, someone want to make note of where I wrote it down at? <laughs> uh, all right. Huh. Well, I want, it would be a bit of work, but yeah, I'm thinking we should just like replace these all with just generic ones because... It's essentially generic anyway. And, uh, again, we could greatly reduce the size of this. Uh, he does have a test AO, 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 OOA in here. AO, AO, A, OOA. Is it actually using that? I think it was. No cab back. Control box. Yeah, see, these are... Uh, go ahead. Does he have an E-I-E-I-O? Nope, I don't see an E-I-E-I-O yet. Nope, I don't see one of those. Uh, I don't PNGs throw issues on MP servers. I kind of wondered about that. Uh, I see he's got everything else. Is, oh, wait, no, there's another. That one's PNG too, isn't it? And so is that one. Uh, okay. Oh, and steering column too. Okay. Steering column. Hmm. You probably kind of sort of might want to keep that, right? Uh, Nolan, get to friend. Oh, I like... Oh, you're sounding like me, Nolan. Uh, my, my, my response is just delete it. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, let me go grab my generic ones here, everyone. Uh, let's, uh... Let's see ones here. I think I got them right here. Generic, wear, and dirt. There's your generic wear and dirt. So I think, I know Nolan said red is the scratches, blue is the dirt. The way this actually shows up because it's all overlaid, I believe the yellow is actually the scratches here. And then the uh, kind of the light blue you see, I believe is the dirt, I think. Or is it the green, the dirt? I don't know that I can actually do what I need to do with paint.net here. One, I've done it before with... Um, Photoshop. Yeah, I think it's the name of the program. Way back, that's going uh, back when I was in college. There you could play with the uh, channels there. I, I don't think you can do that with this program. I don't think. I don't know. I, I might have to look into this a little bit. It would be nice if you could because, you know, th this is free. 
Where is, yeah, Adobe Photoshop, oh boy, cha-ching. Got some more generic ones somewhere. I thought I had like three, four of these. Where did I put the rest of them? Oh, I know. Nope, not that folder. That folder, there we go. Yeah, so I've got generic dirt. That means the uh, equipment will just get dirty, no wear. I've got a generic wear one, so it'll just wear, no Dirt, I believe. I think that's how that one works. Uh, I've also got a generic dirt and wear. And I've got universal dirt. Yeah, this one also, I think, has no wear to it. Hmm. I know I had a generic dirt and wear one. I don't remember where I put it now. Oh, well. This one will work, I guess. We'll put that in there. Generic dirt and wear two. Uh, no, it looks like you have a PNG and DDS with the same name. Lose the PNG. Okay. That's true. I do. I've got a DDS and a PNG. Although, Nolan, I should probably check and make sure it's not being used first because I thought I remember seeing some PNGs in the i3D here. I thought. I'll also switch this over to uh, uh, XML. Yeah, see, it is using the PNG. Should I be uh, concerned about that? <laughs> like I said, there's the PNG right there. And there's the other PNG there. Uh, no one, DDS always used even if uh, PNG in I3D. Oh, okay. So even though it says it's using the PNG here, it's actually not going to. It's going to use the DDS. Tank cover. Oh, boy. And it's storming outside. Yeah, there's the other PNG. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, PNGs, yeah, okay. So I'm going to do my favorite trick here. We're going to create a delete folder, and we're going to start deleting stuff then. So control box can go, that one can go. Uh, no one, yep. Game Engine and Giant Center automatically convert PNG to DDS anyway and put the uh, file in the folder for you to so lose the PNGs. Ah, okay. Lose the PNGs, he said. I can do that. I'm good at deleting stuff out of mods. May not be good at much else in uh, editing mods, but I can delete stuff. Uh, Windows Specular, huh? Okay, well, let's just go by these base S. And is using it. Okay. I think what I'm going to do, everyone, is I'm actually going to take, where did my generic one go here? Oh, he's got a general. I'm going to actually move this one folder less. Actually, no, no I'm going to actually change this completely up. We're going to go in that one. We're going to create a textures folder. Put the texture in there. There we go. Evening, Coolin. Welcome to the stream. Uh, so base is getting uh, deleted or removed. Okay, that one's been replaced by generic wear and dirt two. We'll just go by these through these one by one here. At least I think that's the best way I think I can think to do it. Uh, egg leader DDS. Oh yeah, I think that's being used yet. I think isn't it? Yeah, there's that one. Okay. What it needs that one for? 
Hmm. I have to check that. Yeah, see, that looks like an actual texture file. That's not just... That's not dirt and wear, though. That's actually a texture. Okay. Good to know. Might leave that be. Okay, base gone. Boom mount. Just want to... What I'm thinking about is I should probably like go through these one by one, make sure there aren't anything important. I don't think there is... Not that I'm a seeing anyway. Hood grill. I'm wondering if we need to be careful about this with a hood grill. Anyway, boom out. Get rid of it. And yes, everyone, we're going to have multiple uh, textures generating dirt and wear in here, but uh, Giant's Editor, once we open it, should clean itself up. Uh, booms. Yeah. Right, yeah, exactly. Yep, Nolan. Yep, Giants Editor will combine any duplicates. So, I, I correct me if I'm wrong. I think this is the easiest way I can think to do it. We just go through here and replace these all with generic dirt and wear. Because you could do it in the editor, everyone, but you'd have to like do it for each. Well, actually, no. Yeah, you'd have to kind of sort of do it for like everything or everything that has that material in it. You could do that too, I guess. But bottom yeah, lift arm, not. okay. Cab, yeah, cab's definitely getting it. Cab platform. Cab roof. Wasn't really planning on doing this uh, either for this mod, but... Uh, why not, right? Uh, seems how they are pretty generic on their stuff here. Cab rail. Cab side side rail, okay. Center boom. Pretty sure like I said I'm I'm pretty sure that's a giant's file right there. So if we go to the data shared clear glass three diffuse, it is indeed. So all we're going to do here is we're going to borrow that. Data shared. Uh, let's see what's right. I did not see the clear glass. We'll leave that for the moment. See that a lot where uh, mod authors take what are essentially in game files or part of the game shared files and pull them into the mod. I don't know why they do that, but they do. Uh, control box. Engineer or engine doors, frame cover, front shield. Engine doors, frame cover, front shield. Front trim. I'm not seeing these uh, default normal and glass diffuse used here. There's a window specular. That I believe is also a giant's file. So I'm completely missing it here. I do not see the default normal or the clear glass used. So we're just going to get rid of those. I was planning to get rid of them anyway, so. Oh, Front trim. Yeah. 
There's hood grill. Where's hood test? Oh, there's hood test. Okay. Hello, Ledger Tater. No cab ladder rail. Wow. Nope. Nice thing with Notepad Plus Plus. If you make a mistake, it kind of sort of tells you there with the uh, the colors. Don't know if you folks heard that on the microphone, but that was uh that was a close uh, lightning strike and clap of thunder. Hey, Jeremy. Uh, no one really need to help uh, modders understand instancing. Uh, say you have one bolt with a poly count of ten, and you copy it around in Giant's editor. You still only have the ten count in the shape files. Most put all bolts in one mesh and pay the uh, poly count. Take some effort, but really worth it in file size. Oh, I'm sure. Yes, that makes sense there, Nolan. Yep. If there's multiple spots in in the uh, in the mod where you need something, you just create one and move it to wherever it needs to be. Makes makes perfect sense to me. I mean, in the case of the sprayer here, too, unless we're really missing something here, it looks like uh, the mod author could have really saved some uh, file size and textures here because it looks like all these dirt and wear are... I mean, they're going to look somewhat different just because it's spread across different elements differently, but they're pretty much all the same. Or they are the same. Gotta check and see if that sprayer effect is being used. I don't think it is. Uh, Nolan, yep, you get it, but how many, obviously, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure they're known, I'm sure, yeah, most do not. I mean, that to me just seems like it'd be common sense. I mean, within reason, anyway. Uh, Facebook, my Yahoo. Thank you for the follow. Thank you very much for that. And in case you're not getting bored watching the stream here yet, we're just simply replacing all the dirtware textures that were part of the mod with just a generic one that, to be honest, I think will look about the same. Oops. See what I mean by the color and everyone? Comes in handy. If you make a mistake... I better leave the ag leader one. Oh, this is a wait. This is a window specular. Ah, I should be paying attention here. Yeah, good thing I caught that. That needs to be a. Yeah, it's gonna get deleted because that is. I'm pretty sure giant's file. In fact, I'm not even gonna bother checking it because I'm almost 100% sure it is. And then yeah, that one needs to be left. Except I'm going to change it to texture because I'm gonna move that to the texture folder. Yeah. Uh, Nolan, I think the uh, sprayer effect I3D is in the model already, I believe. And either way, if you're not dynamically loaded anything in the XML, it's not needed. That's what I thought, Nolan. I'm pretty sure that that's the uh, sprayer effect from all the nozzles, right? So, technically, this whole thing can just get deleted. We'll just leave it. Uh, I don't think it's being dynamically loaded, although you never know. We should be good here. Let's save this. Um, let's see what's here.
And let's go back to this, back to that. Sprayer effects. Now we can find out real quick, right? If it is, it should come up, right? Mm, nope, nothing. I'm going to say it's not being used. There we go. Mod is now significantly smaller. Significantly. Not seeing anything that looks uh, particularly different. Maybe a few more scratches on it now than there was before, but... Oh, wait a minute. This is missing. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh oh, broke something. Uh, Nolan, careful on your searches in Notepad. It searches in the. Oh, compile fragment. I, uh oh. Broke it. We broke it. What? Uh, cannot load texture egg. Uh, the texture, what? Uh, what did it not like there? Right there. Oh, yep. I see what I did wrong. I see. Nope. Don't, don't save that. Gotta have an S in it. I, put it, I named it Textures. Textures. Okay. Try that again. There we go. That looks better. Much, much better. And any error messages down here? And just the usual warning in valid case nonsense. I don't know why it gives that warning message. Warning. Loading file with invalid case. I don't know. It always shows that message for anything that's coming from the uh, Giants... Shared folder. Oh, the tank's got some scratches on it. That's probably a plastic tank, isn't it? Eh, oh, well, it's got some scratches. Hang on, hurt it on. We could switch that out for a generic dirt texture on there if we wanted to. But aren't all cases invalid? Uh, that's probably true, yes. Very good point. Very good point. Shader, shader, shader. Wow. You just got them all named shaders, huh? Okay. Oh, I named them shaders. Interesting. Oh, uh, legendary tater, the tank is... F oh, fiberglass. Ah, fiberglass. Okay, that would make sense. Yep. Where's the tank? Because we can... Uh... I don't know on your computer path might have a capitalization issue in the path different... Then what the uh, data path uses? Oh, okay. It's meaning something is capitalized that it doesn't think should be. That's kind of weird. I haven't done nothing in there. Uh, okay, where is that bloody tank at? Yo-ho, tank. Like I said, everyone, you're, being that it's a fiberglass, you wouldn't expect metal scratches in it, right? So... Yeah, it's not going to be under booms. Nope. Cylinder. Unfortunately, it won't let me click on it. Oh, there it is. Cube. Uh, you know what? I can rename this because it's not tank. Aha. Tank. Material.001. Let me uh, save this. We're going to open up the i3D here. Let me everyone grab my generic dirt texture oh, yeah. here. It'll still get dirty. I won't wear. So generic dirt. Yes, I want that one. We're going to throw some generic dirt in there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create another... Wow, there's a lot of materials yet. I would have expected that to have been cleaned up a little bit. Uh, well, yeah, no, I guess, okay, that would make sense. There still would be separate materials for all this stuff, wouldn't there? And they're just going to all use the same uh, 
same file, aren't they? Okay. And what we'll do, we'll copy that. We'll create another one. We'll give it, uh... How about 10? Looks like we can safely use 10. Ooh. And then we'll create another material here. Actually, you know what? I should probably figure out what... Uh, no, all I need to do is figure out what material that one's using and change that to file ID 10 for it. That's what we need to do. Zero dot zero zero one. Yeah, I can't really go by that though, unfortunately. Control F, tank. Shape ID 47 using uh, material ID number five. Number five. So up here, everyone, we're going to find material ID number five. And we're going to replace the gloss map file ID to number 10. Five should be. Wow, there's a lot of materials here. These could probably be combined a lot if I had to guess, but that would probably take a lot of time. Okay, where's five? Did I miss it? Material ID 5. Let's search for it then. There it is. Oh, I didn't find it before, but there we go. And we'll change that to number 10. So that's going to change it to the generic dirt texture. Uh, Facebook, you, I scrolled past it. Uh, I guess I did. Apparently I did. Yep, there it was. Scrolling a little too fast there. Okay. Save that. Reload this. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Mmm, still's got scratches on it. That's interesting. Do something wrong because it shouldn't have scratches. Nope, not that one. Uh, which one we got here? Uh, generic. Where and uh, wait, what? Say what? Just reload this. Um, no, we don't want to save nothing. I don't think. We didn't change anything. Shouldn't have anyway. Please wait. Giant editor opening. Hmm. Okay, well, apparently I did something wrong. Let's, uh, let's investigate here. Did something wrong. There it is there. Oh, yeah. Duh. I forgot to change this to the actual uh, the name of the file. Uh -huh. Don't worry, everyone. We're just a little slow tonight. Don't mind me. Just a little slow. Uh, it's not like I've been you know, up on a roof last couple days. Maybe, you know. Uh -huh. Okay, let's try that. Yes, reload. Ah, there we go. Much better, Evan. Much better. No more scratches on it now, right? Oh, let's see what's here. Um, anything else that we shouldn't have scratches on? Because I mean, that's relatively easy fix here, everyone. These hoses don't look like they do, from what I can tell. Because you won't expect rubber hoses to have scratches, right? Oh, you know what? These poly guards, right? Uh, no, you now have an air. Oh, I do. Air cannot load resource. Generic dirt one. Why? Uh, why can it not load resource? Did I not name it right? Good catch, the known. I did not see that. Uh, now just cancel that. Actually. Oh, yep. Yeah, duh. Like I said, we're really slow tonight, everyone. Wow. There. Now it's happy. Did I save it? No, I did not save. There we go. Now reload. I think we're good now, I think. Right? Actually, let's just open it up and make sure. Oh, 
Uh, no, oh, it, it is storming outside there, no, uh, no doubt about that. It's, uh, it is coming down. And I hope those contractors you hired on the roof did a good job. Uh, there are a couple shady characters up there, no doubt about that. They are very shady looking. Okay, yeah, no, it's got it. Not showing any dirt on it, though. Not that I have a problem with that. The dirt. Uh, no, I think the dirt's turned on, right? I go dirt. Oh, dirt's off. Dirt. Toggle dirt. Oh, there's. The, oh, yeah, okay. It was off on it. Uh huh. I kind of thought it was. Okay, there we go. That's what the tank looks like now with dirt. Looks better without the dirt, but <laughs> anyway, let's uh, see what's here because these poly guards, everyone, shouldn't have you know scratches on them either, right? So let's uh. Let's let's do this up somewhat nice. One moment while we find him here, though. Uh, yeah, is that the poly one or the from? I don't know. Actually, you know what? It's got the color. Well, I don't know what colors it's using though. Hmm. I don't have to say you really helped that mod a lot. Uh, well, big help to you there, Nolan, because you uh, really dropped the file size down by getting rid of all those extra characters. Uh, so that helped a lot. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, now that we uh, replaced all the dirt, I'm not sure that the dirt and wear necessarily looks any better than it did before, because, I mean, the dirt wear on it looked pretty good before. Just now we got one file as opposed to, I don't know, there was, what, 80 megs worth of files before, so... Let's see if I can find those poly guards here, everyone. I'm not sure which ones are which, though. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I do is Z the one I want. It is. Oh, I think that's the metal one. I think everyone. If I click on this one, oh, oh, -ho. yeah, that's not the color. Wish there was a way I could double check and make sure. Because he doesn't have them named, everyone, so I don't know. That looks black. You know what? Uh -huh, I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. Let's toggle the dirt off so I can actually see it better. There we go. Yeah, now I can see it. That one is the green one. This one is the black one. So what we need to do, uh, let's go back into... Um, Actually, no, let me move this one back. Well, no. Yeah, I'm almost so. Oh, how am I going to do this here? Got to remember that one is the one. Poly guard. Or we'll name it. That's how we'll do it. There we go. Poly guard. That's the metal guard. Not like the uh, mod authors using the uh, i3D mapping here anyway, so. Uh, Nolan, you can just delete the gloss map. Ooh, that is true. I could. That's could. Aha. Uh -huh. Thanks, Nolan. Yes, I did not think of that. I was thinking I had to do it through the uh, Notepad++, but that is true. I can do it here, too, can I? I wonder if that'll fix all of them. Eh, probably not. I want generic dirt. I bet you that doesn't fix... So oh, maybe it does fix that one. Oh, that would be slick. That would be slick if it fixes that one. Maybe it does. Cool. Okay, then we just got a poly guard on the front here a minute. And I actually think I know this. Oh, poly, nope, not that one. This other one. Yeah, they're both under here. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is the metal one. I think. Kind of hard to tell. Mm, that doesn't help a whole lot, does it? Let's unhide this one. No, that's the black one, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, okay. That's the polyguard one here, this one. Good thing I double-checked that.
I'm gonna hide the visibility on this one here again. So yeah, he's got it kind of flip-flopped here then a little bit, doesn't he? Huh? Okay, a one. Move it back to where it was. Get rid of that extra light in there. Okay. Anything else? Make, make. Oh yeah. Okay. Yep. I think I'll uh, same material. You just replace the text. Oh wait, did I uh, do the wrong one? Did I do the wrong one. Generic. No, I got that. That's right. Generic dirt. Right. Yeah, that's, we want the generic dirt on that one. Actually, does this? That's 47. This is 40. Okay, yeah, good. They, they don't have the same. Yeah, that's probably something you should watch. Make sure something doesn't have the same one. But it looks like they're all separate materials anyway. So, uh, let's see. Is Legendary Tater still here yet? Uh, the roof is... Oh, okay, good. He, he already answered my question. I was just going to ask him if the roof is plastic. I thought it was. Okay, let's fix the roof here as well then. Uh, it'd be nice if the mod author would actually kind of name some of this stuff rather than just circle, cube. Oh, oh my. Okay. Doing one of these is going to be a, a roof. Yep, it is. Okay. Material 41. Now I've got to double check and make sure 42. There's nothing else here that's used and it is there. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so we can just safely do this, do that. Generic dirt. Check. Okay. I'm not a fan of that mushroom. Toggle dirt. Looks really dirty. Very dirty. Good. And toggle scratches. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should toggle scratches first, then dirt. Ah, see? No scratches up top. Uh, You can't really see the polygart. Well, okay, you can kind of sort of see them. <laughs> if you move the camera around a little bit, you can see them flickering around. Cool. I think the rest looks pretty good then, right? I think so. And it's about time to wrap up this stream here, too. <laughs> I'm actually surprised we're actually still streaming yet with the weather outside. I, I would have thought uh, it would have kind of killed the stream a little bit, but uh, it hasn't, so that is good. Usually if the weather gets bad enough, it'll uh, take out the internet connection. Which is always annoying, because, uh, you know, if, you're, if you've got a storm going on outside, everyone, what do you want to do? In, you want to be inside. And at least if you're me, I'm going to probably be sitting in front of the computer doing something. So, like of all times to lose internet during the middle of a storm. Oh, okay, got two of them open, apparently. Let's get rid of that one. And we just uh, delete that. No, we don't need to reload that. Just close. Okay, so if I remember correctly, our last zip file was like 90 megabytes or something like that, I think. We're down to 38. Still fairly good size, given what this is, everyone. Um, you know, you can see that this, this still has a big shape file with it yet, so this is still probably a way too high of a poly count model, but, uh, I, I don't plan to do anything else to it. So what is, oh, nine, almost 100 megs yet, everyone, almost 100 megs. We're down to 38, 38. And like I said, everyone, I don't think we can do much better than that unless we go into there and, like, start really reducing down a lot of poly counts on a lot of stuff, which, mm, no, thank you. So we got uh, collisions to check and make sure it doesn't look too bad in the game here. We didn't mess up any textures. Uh, Nolan, another strike for the Polycount Crusade. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, we did a little bit. If you remember, everyone, when we first started working on it, we did, like, the uh, side panels. Those were really bad. I'm not sure what's actually really bad in there anymore. What's Because the, the rest of it doesn't look too bad. I'm not sure what the uh, fender actually is at this point. Probably something, eh, it could be something in that cab. We could probably investigate that. Like I said, we did reduce down the side shields there a little bit. Okay, those look pretty good, I guess. No cab. Oh. The uh, seat. <laughs> What's up with that seat? How come the seat's already dirty? Come on, we're, we're buying this brand new. And the seat is already dirty? What is up with that? And that. Yeah. And the pedals. <laughs> and the levers. Okay. Something must have actually had a texture associated with it, I'm thinking. <laughs> Oops. But, uh, well, that don't make sense, though. They're still colored properly. Well, except for the seat. What color is the seat supposed to be? Yellow? Ah, uh, yeah, there's some gauges there. Yeah, I bet you everyone there might have been a texture associated with that one. That might be a slight oopsie on my part. Might have to go back and double check that. Everything else is looking pretty good, though, I think. Oh. Our, uh, our decal here is dirty as well. That is interesting. Uh, nope, the seat is gray. Okay. Okay, okay. So we just got to figure out why our lettering here is dirty and our seat is dirty already. That is a bit suspicious. Well, it looks like it's a light gray here, Legendary, but, <laughs> I mean, gray, light gray up, if either way, I'll take it. The rest of this, I think, is looking pretty good. Does it still fold out? Yep, still folds out, looks like. Oh, check the collision. Yes, check the uh, collision. And how do we do that? We back into a wall, or glass building here in this case, I guess. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's no collision on the booms, but it's kind of hired worker friendly that way, if you ask me. So I'm fine with no collisions on the booms. Everything will be all right, though, as long as you don't paint the seat light red. No, no light red, huh? Oh, yeah, light red. Uh, yes, no, yeah, no light red. We do not like or want light red. Uh, the Nolan scale can only be one to one for rigid bodies. Well, you can scale them, right? Nolan, just you might get some very undesirable effects. As uh, noted by what we were having with this uh, sprayer here. Okay, so why is that dirty? Why is that dirty? I thought it would come dirty. That seems odd to me. Uh, no, I'm flying. <laughs> yes, uh, okay. Well, the, the mod didn't go flying yet. Why is that seat staying dirty? Uh, no, of course it's not going to let me click on the seat, is it? Selectable. Yeah, no, let's, uh, wait, uncheck lights. That will uh, not let me check, uh, Click on lights then, right? Seriously. Flexible. Cameras. Ah, there we go. Interior, what do we got? Generic dirt and wear, okay. Uh, color mask. Uh, that looks like it's set up right to me. I don't, oops, the camera. <laughs> yeah, uh, there goes the camera again. Okay, Nolan, so why why does the seat and levers and pedals and decals come pre-dirty? 
What am I missing here? This probably shouldn't have uh, scratches on it either. We should probably switch that to the other. Uh, what do these levers use? That's material 31. Uh, that's material 35. At the very least here, I'm going to switch this to that one. We're going to switch this one to that one as well. I go dirt. Uh, no one scroll down to look at RDT. Oh, wait, what? How come that still has scratches yet? Say what? Okay, I don't know why that's still showing scratches yet. Uh, no one uh, scroll down and look at RDT. Okay, oh, well, it's uh, one one. I mean, I, we could set that to zero zero, but. Uh, Jeffrey, is anyone uh, graduated but still taking algebra class? Just me? Okay, uh, what's wrong with algebra class, sir, Jeffrey? Algebra is great. That was a lot of fun. X, Y, Z. Uh. Or that matter, our decal is losing. Uh, uh, no, and you know you have two types of reload right up above distance. Uh, no, I did not. Beer cube. Oh, that's that one. On top of the building. We're going to replace this with uh, generic dirt as well and take the uh, scratches off that one. Although technically you could probably scratch the decal, but... There we go. Uh, killing algebra and fun do not belong in the same sentence. Oh, come on now. Nonsense. Algebra is fun. Uh, trigonometry is fun as well. It's when you get into the, um, oh, what is that again? Like advanced geometry. That gets a little interesting. That's, that's a little messy there if you ask me, but, uh, algebra is fun. Algebra is easy. Uh, Jeffrey, well, yes, it's uh, not bad, but my uh, daughter has thrown her hands up and refused to learn. Ah. <sighs> And when she does get to trigonometry, there's not much she can learn from dad. <laughs> uh, no, reload all textures and reload textures. They are different above distance in the upper, let's see, upper left corner. Uh, above, above distance in the upper left corner. To the right. Drain. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Ah, reload all textures, reload textures. Okay. Did not know that. Not sure why that seat's still not right, though. I might just uh, reload the whole thing. How about that? 
Uh, killing algebra is not easy. You never understood it. Geometry was the only math class you liked and understood. Oh, come on now. How, okay, Killen. Uh, if you got geometry, how can you not get algebra? Geometry builds on algebra. Well, Nolan, I, I'm still left scratching my head. Is this got... How can that have wear on it? How can there be wear on that seat? Come on, let me uh, look on something. There we go. How can there be wear on that seat? Generic dirt. Unless the dirt, now the dirt isn't silver. Because I can see dirt and wear on there. Where's that wear coming from? Same thing on the levers, too. Generic dirt. I think Giants editor is being uh, silly here at this point. Looks like it's got this right. I don't see any scratches in this. Uh, no, let's see if there's uh oh more than one material. So oh, okay. Oh, uh, let's see what's here. Where was that again here? Uh, materials. Oh, uh-huh. Yeah. Why would they need more than one material sign? Yeah, you're right, Nolan. There is more than one material. Okay. Why? Okay, stupid question maybe, but... <laughs> there we go. Okay. Answers that question. Sort of. Still don't understand why they got... Oh my goodness, there's all kinds of materials assigned. hi yi 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 Okay. Hopefully we don't break anything else by doing this. Does it have the rich Corinthian leather assigned? Uh, no. Unfortunately. Uh, no, no, uh, or go into I3D and delete the extra numbers. Can we do that safely there, Nolan? Oh, what could go wrong? Uh, Josh never took a straight trig class. I uh, went from algebra to technical math, which combined trig, calc, calc, geometry, uh, calculus, and geometry. Uh, the dear King Sun, thank you for the follow. Thank you very much for that. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I killed no idea, but I got A's in geometry all year. But when you got to algebra one and two, constantly was failing. That's odd there, Killen, because, like I said, uh, geometry builds on algebra. Uh, Jeffrey, 7x plus 8y equals... Well, you need to have something behind the equals there, uh, Jeffrey. I mean, the 7x plus 8y by itself doesn't really do anything. But yes, easy stuff. Uh, no, no, the material IDs just make sure the only number listed is the one you want, and then you will get rid of a lot of your materials in the material selection. Uh, materials ID, just make sure only numbers listed is the one you want. Uh, well, how do I know which one is the one I want? Take care of that. No more scratches on that now. Uh, dear King Son, what are you working on? We are working on the John Deere. Oh, yeah, there's two materials there, too, in there. <laughs> interesting. That's the, the interesting. There's a whole bunch there. Okay. <laughs> no, I'll pick one and use it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like, uh, does it matter? I mean, <laughs> rhyme or reason? Just pick one and use it, huh? Okay. They all got generic dirt wear now, at least. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's only one material in that one. Uh, I suppose I should have this open just so I can see what to, which one it is again. Material dot zero thirty one. Actually, I should go down to interior. Oh wow, look at that! It's actually labeled interior. Although it's. Eh. Hardly interior, that's more of a seat, but uh, that's more label than some stuff is here. Uh, so, Nolan, you're, you're saying I can just uh, get rid of one of these? 76 and 67, huh? And dirt color, diffuse color. Different, uh, a little bit different, but anyway. Uh, Dear King, I wish someone would make older John Deere combines. Uh, Josh, so 53. <laughs> uh, Jeffrey, 7 times 3 plus 8 times 4. Uh, Josh, blue, tr uh, blue train, right. Okay. Uh, okay, back down to... Uh... Oh, wait, no. Back down to interior. It did not like that. Nope, it didn't like that at all. That took care of the seat. <laughs> Broke the seat. Well, if he's that talking about add-ons for the console, then it's, why doesn't Giants make more old stuff, right? Yeah, it's true. How come Giants doesn't make stuff then? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, so that's why they got multiple materials on there. how they got that set up then that's interesting but then again that's just something else you have to endure with a console isn't it uh right right and seats back okay Still not sure I quite understand why they have multiple materials assigned to that, but okay. I'm batting with these levers too. I bet you each because I see there's a couple different colors here, so I bet you some of them have. Uh, yeah, there's probably a material ID for each one of these. There's because there's green, there's black. I see that one's yellow. Not sure what's up with that one there. That one doesn't seem to be anything. Just a black blob there. Cylinder dot zero forty four. Ah, oh, boy. 
Gotta love them names. Yep, material IDs. 29, 17, 41, 73, and 14. Yeah. Actually, let's fix this camera again. I'm always breaking it. Okay, well, everyone, uh, one more quick look at this mod, and we definitely, whoa, we definitely need to wrap it up. Oh, my goodness, it is late, 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 late. By Randy's standards, anyway. Uh, yeah, older John Deere tractors and combines on the console. Yeah, I don't think consoles, you don't have any of that stuff, do you? Well, there's no way this mod's going to make it uh, through Giant's approval process. I can guarantee you that one. So <laughs> I don't even think about this one. Uh, Jeffrey Late, never heard of it. Never heard of it. Oh, come on now. There we go. Some poly guards all the way around. Yeah, we still have the dirt there, so that's uh, that's annoying. And we got dirt up there yet too, so that's annoying. Yep, pedals. Oh, I didn't even, never even looked at the pedals, did I? That's right. Uh, the little Jeffrey is not uh, back of the cow that jumped over the moon, and has not been the same since. Interesting. I, st I still don't get why. I mean, why would it be dirty right away? I mean, okay, just because it has multiple materials assigned to it. Yeah, same thing. So everything that has multiple materials assigned to it is dirty, isn't it? So the seat. Never even looked at that lever there, did we? The pedals. The levers. Uh, Deer Kingdom, a bunch of logging, both us and European style 9RT and 8 as most of the uh, John Deere mods are. Okay. Well, anyway, everyone, on that note, I think with that, we're going to have to wrap this up here. Uh, again, comments or questions, be sure to uh, throw them down below here. Like I said, I'll upload this uh, to uh, YouTube here, so. Uh, no, because it is signed to a material that is not vehicle shader driven. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Now, oh, yeah, okay. So How would you go about fixing that? Cuz obviously, I mean, I see why he's got multiple materials on here. Apparently, the multiple materials control the multiple colors. Like the seat has, which I don't cuz you could set it to color mat 1 or color mat sorry, color mat 0 and color mat 1 essentially. You get it that way too, right? But not how he's done it, from the looks of it. Yeah, that, that's kind of annoying. Don't want a dirty looking logo. That's that's not good. Anyway, uh, you can't stop streaming. Your wife just said, uh, "Sorry, legendary uh, Tiger Wolf uh, wife." I said hi, and uh, I'm going to bed. <laughs> uh, no one selected giant center. Add the uh, shader below. Ah, okay. Well, I could try that real quick. Oh, did not have a shader applied to it? Ew. But I thought it would have.
Real quick, I know it's not going to wrap it up, but... That one's got one. I mean, it does have the vehicle shader. Uh, it is set to color mask. Also set to color mask. <laughs> no, okay, trying. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, nope. Oh, yeah, oops. Yeah. Don't, uh, don't scroll over that, everyone. That, uh, the game, or the, uh, editor does not like it when you do that. Oops. Yeah, do not move your scroll wheel over that. Ah, come on out, really. I said not to do that, and I just did it myself. Well, like I said, everyone, I do really need to wrap it up, so uh, we'll have to uh, look at this some more here, apparently. I mean, we're looking pretty good here, I think. Uh, just uh, we need to figure out the dirt here on some of these uh, ones that have multiple textures or multiple materials assigned to them. So, yeah. Anyway, everyone, thanks for watching, and until uh, next time, have a great rest of your night. Bye. Bye.